I have always said that the, it's easy to find finance when you have grown, but it's difficult to find finance when you have to, when you want to grow. Manan is the type of company EDC should be helping. So we've helped this company grow from a small company into a medium-sized company, and they have plans to grow to you know, a, a $100 million company within the next couple of years. And I think they'll get there because they've got the passion and they've got the product and they're positioning themselves well. Manan is a company um, involved in light gauge steel construction technologies, has been an innovator of the construction system uh, since 2000 when we started the company primarily with the focus on developing a cost uh, economic uh, light gauge steel construction systems for the developing countries. It's a light gauge steel construction system. Uh, it's known as quick build. It is a quick build requirement. It, it just, you can put up your walls practically within a matter of seven days. The company launched a system in India in 2001 when there was a major earthquake in the state of Gujarat. Three of the five promoters in the company were uh, Indian origin. So obviously India happened to be the target market. The R&D was done, but before we could do the, uh, the certification locally, the earthquake took us down into the country in India where we did the market validation for the next two years. The first challenge Minion faced in India and the delay in its progress during the first four years has been finance. Finance has been a crucial task for us because being a Canadian company, the Indian banks wouldn't support it. And the business being in India, the Canadian banks wouldn't come to the company's assistance at all. So we had a really a tough task in raising money within the investors that the company had and supporting the market validation, the market entry uh, program in India. So having done all of that R&D, um, their financial statements are not particularly attractive and certainly not attractive from a banking point of view. When Shell came along wanting, announcing uh, in India to put up 2,000 gas stations, the first phase of those was being 300 gas stations where they wanted to use Minion's light gas steel system. When Shell came out with the challenge of us putting up a prototype at our own cost, now, yes, we were invested into putting up the factory, but uh, working capital facilities were needed to put up this prototype and go through the initial negotiation stage, and as also convince Shell that Minion has the capacity and the capability in terms of execution and finance to execute a long-term contract. And that is where EDC came into the picture uh, I requested. EDC was very good at um, going outside of our normal risk capacity with the company. This was a challenging deal. Being able to do uh, a guarantee on a company that's not bankable, doesn't have bank support, um, and isn't strong financially. Uh, in order to get a contract with, with Shell for $5 million and being able to do the working capital, uh, it wouldn't have happened without EDC support. They wouldn't have had the working capital in place in order to conclude the contract. But if they hadn't done that contract, it wouldn't get them to where they want to be going now. I remember actually heading off to uh, one of the local banks along with Mervyn Pinto, the CEO uh, of Manayan. And we met with the bank and we talked to them about Manayan's requirements. I think it gave the Canadian exporter a fair bit of comfort going into that meeting because we were able to say that we knew the company. Uh, it gave the bank a lot of comfort knowing that EDC was at the table and was also prepared to support uh, Manayan's business in, uh, in India. As we finished our uh, prototype and Shell was confident about the company's ability and sort of uh, the future program and the company was immediately awarded a contract for 65 buildings starting with 50 buildings to be increased by another 15 buildings. And then I was back to EDC to uh, requesting support to raise the working capital. Mervyn is a promoter and he has a lot of passion for his company. And he should, he, he spent a lot of time building his company to where he is today. Um, but having the underwriter, um, who the underwriter didn't come to Vancouver specifically to meet uh, Manayan, uh, but I felt it was very important for them to, um, to meet with Mervyn one-on-one -on -one so he understood where they were coming from and where they wanted to go. 
And I think that was really beneficial in um, actually making this deal happen. The big difference, I think, was going out to Vancouver and meeting Mr. Pinto face to face. Uh, on paper, the deal looked like it was dead in the water. However, having met him and in speaking with him, you could sense uh, the confidence uh, he exuded in, uh, in telling me where he's been and where he was going um, in undertaking this uh, huge contract in India where the financials didn't make sense. I think certainly the financials don't tell the story of what Menean is and their potential. And Mervyn certainly has a vision for the company of where he wants it to go. Uh, and, and you can't get that through financial statements. While we are producing our modular buildings for the gas stations, for the banks, for the washrooms, where we have recently got a contract to supply 3,700 washroom units for Ghana, which is an export contract. So now there is no stopping. It's a huge opportunity. We are in a country uh, like India. They need construction and construction and construction. And quick build is the name of the game today. There are dozens of companies like Manayan and like Mervyn who uh, are working with us to be able to leverage their roots back in India. They work with us, they may help us with introductions, and we can also help them by bringing financial solutions both in Canada as well as to the buyers that they're doing business with here in India. As for my reading goes, eight out of 10 small businesses do not come up for, and the main reason being finance. It's not that people are not hardworking or not innovative enough, it is just they do not have the resources to sustain. I mean, in my case, I did not take salaries for a good four years. I mean, it had to be done. And today, it's time for us to reap the benefits. We are not out of the woods, but we can see the growth. We can see the potential. And we are comfortable to at least having the satisfaction within us that the worst is over, the best is to come. So for me, for Minian, EDC has been the real success factor for Minian's growth. Success is based on EDC support and I look for that similar support to come and I've, I'm, I've got all the confidence that it will happen now because we have crossed the barriers of, of problems and difficulties of growth because now we have the team, we have the infrastructure, we are at the right place at the right time with the right system. It is just growth.